to the good life. There are eight objectives and 33, 35 principles, that is. The one I'm going to focus on today is called script writing. This principle simply suggests that uh, we can uh, prepare for tricky bits in our life by writing a script ahead of time. For example, um, I'm going to spend the day with my nephew Parker, and I'm going to what we're going to go out to um, climb. We're going to take the ropeway to the top of San Gregorio Peak, and I've was script writing earlier uh, contingencies in case the tramway is closed. I could probably just look it up on the website and figure that out, but I didn't do that. Um, we'll just go out and find out. And if the if the tramway is closed, then I'll have other ideas about what we can do. And I was thinking maybe we could take a desert hike. Um, and we we'll, might also go by and look at REI uh, uh, or Bass Pro Shops and look at some outfits. Um, I, I need to start shopping a little bit for my new image. I'm going to have a new wardrobe and new image when I go to Japan. That's right. All of this clothes is going to go. And I've got a, one or two outfits that I'm going to keep that Yumiko helped me to, to acquire last year before we went to Japan last year that I really like. Um, so I have a couple of contingency plans. Script writing is the principle that suggests that uh, th when you're faced with extraneous non-routine activities, uh, we can model in our mind how we might uh, go through those faced with various contingencies, as I said. It also suggests that we can prepare ourselves for the unexpected. Uh, for example, um, something did happen that was unexpected in that capacity. A scary thing, actually, yesterday. Yumiko and I were uh, doing our usual dog walk, and we have found that the walking environment here in Huntington Beach is not safe at all. We've had so many close calls crossing streets day and night, I don't know why, it's just that people seem to um, uh, not look. So I, when we cross streets now, I'm, I've got my head on a swivel. Got, my wife is usually walking behind me with Rudy. I'm looking for cars and keeping an eye out and calling out, here comes something, and we move fast to get out of the way. Yesterday we were on uh, the corner, near the corner of Main, and Main Street and Beach Boulevard, big intersection over there where the Trader Joe's uh, is and there's this one tricky bit kind of a corner of the main street kind of curves around and Yumiko and I had the green uh, walkway and there's a tricky left turn there and I'm always careful when we're crossing there that I'm watching for the cars there and um, we were had finished made our way through the walkway and had focused my attention back forward I wasn't swiveling anymore there was a, uh, a red car um, waiting to make a left turn just as I turned my head around, I heard brakes squeal. Turned my head just in time to watch a small black truck uh, collide with that red car that was waiting to make the left turn. They were waiting for us to get through. It was a green light this way. You get what I mean, right? And they were waiting for us. This car was over here waiting for us to get through. You make what I got through. And they pushed on through, not seeing the car coming at them. Bam! Hit that black car. Watch it spin around and uh, stop. I gave the... This is where the contingency comes in. So and I walked like still above the stoic. So I had planned for that. I had said to myself, prepared several times in my mind. I said, okay, if something happens, just be prepared. Hand over the leash to Yumiko and go offer aid. That's exactly what I did. I had, I had script wrote, script writ <laughs> in my mind. And it went right into action. And I gave it over to her, handed her the poop bag. For, I went over the little red car had an elderly couple in them. They looked shocked. Came over their car. Front of the car was uh, was smashed bad. I noticed they both had their seatbelts on. No air, air no airbags deployed. That's good. Uh, maybe the car was too old to have airbags. I looked in. Are you guys okay? I was the first person there. I was the only person that responded. Nobody else came out. Big crowded area. Nobody else came out. Cars in the middle of the street. I went out. As and as I was walking over to them, walking briskly. Walking because I was walking briskly because I'm looking around because traffic is still flowing, cars are zipping all around. I don't want to get run over. I whipped out my phone and said Siri nine one one. So as I'm walking over and I look down, I could see Siri engaged. Next thing I know, I'm, are you guys okay? And they, they gave me a yes and and got on the phone. You know nine one one emergency. No one's hurt. No one appears to be injured. I could see the other man getting out of the black truck. Uh, an, an elderly man, another elderly, nah, he wasn't, I would say elderly, probably 68, I don't know, 70, something like that, 70 year old man. Um, that's elderly. 
No, police were there in minutes. I stayed behind and explained what I saw, and you know they, they passed information, and I, 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 I gave my information. And that was the result of script writing, because I had told myself repeatedly, these, each of these intersections that we cross here in Huntington Beach, we're taking our lives into our own hands. Be prepared, Kurt, to act in a, in a deliberate, considered manner, not panicking, ready to go dial 911, ready to assess issues, and above all, ready to protect my family from uh, the danger of being pedestrians crossing these busy, scary streets. I told you, Miko, afterward, I said, if we stayed here in Huntington Beach, it would only be a matter of time before we'd likely be struck. We almost got, we almost watched a woman got run over and killed two weeks ago. It's a scary place. So that was script writing. Script writing. <laughs> That's a good example, I think.